West Pokot County, yeah. wherever you are in Kenya, mm -hmm. the system needs to work for you, for mm -hmm. the common person. Yeah. Yes. Now, housing levy, another issue that has been a hot button issue. It's on page six of the standard. And it, we're being told today that the court has suspended effecting the 1.5% housing levy. I'll start with you, Mr. Mr. And when you see this one, it, it's given them a bit of time. And we know that core two, COFEC, as well as I think there's another body that's against it. I will be having their summons heard in court mm -hmm. on Monday. And what do you feel about this one? I'm actually glad that, glad? <laughs> that it's been suspended. Um, there's, no pub there's no public confidence mm -hmm. in you know, the whole manner and process in which uh, the housing thing was going to be conducted. Yeah. It's not very clear how after contributing, how does it... How, whether how do or you not get, you'll get the house. Yeah, yeah. and you know, the other time, the PS, I think, of the ministry was interviewed. He was talking about a ballot, mm -hmm. a balloting. A sort of which, lottery system. A sort of lottery system, which is more or less like gambling. Mm -hmm. So you're mm -hmm. going to make me pay Mm -hmm. from my salary already constrained salary yeah. you know already taxed on VAT fuel and many other things That's it. and then you still want to take money and mm -hmm. I'm not sure how it will benefit me mm -hmm. and already the taxes you take from me <laughs> get you know You're lost into no into yeah. thin air mm -hmm. like it's it's unacceptable yeah. it's unacceptable that you know our national debt is past the 5 trillion mark True. we don't even know how we're going to pay for it and we're still having cases of you know mega corruption mm -hmm. and nothing has ever been done yeah. there's tough talk everywhere yeah. but really nothing I think the, be, the the main concern with this one is that we already pay a lot of taxes where does we that do. money go and we're we really always do. seeing these headlines going on and on about corruption but then now we are having to pay 1.5 percent more how am I sure that I'll ever benefit from it and then we have the bit about the lottery system Let me tell you, the most painful thing mm -hmm. about this housing levy thing is that the taxes we pay get lost. Yes. We don't get value for what we are paying. Right. We're not getting proper service delivery and no one is held accountable. Mm -hmm. It's just unacceptable. Yeah, it's unacceptable. Yeah. Now, the, the article says the fund is discriminatory, discriminatory to many citizens, especially those who own their houses or are retiring, people living with disability, low-income earners, and retrenched workers. Yeah, of course, those are people with no salaries. Now, um, will they ever be able to benefit from this one, um, the housing levy, if it's um, implemented? Um, Mr. Okoli, what do you feel about this one? Uh, just to pick from where she has left, I think the government comes up with policies that are not consultative mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, constitution provides for public participation yeah. but you know when uh, uh, a government is in a place then it does not listen mm -hmm. to its citizens but it wants to impose some policies that are not um, you know that are not friendly and not you know being bought by the citizens right. then it becomes a problem because every time uh, these policies are going to be mentioned mm -hmm. then there's a reaction people pose mm -hmm. then they government is going is not going to move forward mm -hmm. look at this uh, policy the way it was formulated not alone these the other policies like we had uh, was it B BRT BTR the bus, <laughs> bus BRT. issue yeah. when uh, the minister came said they have already ordered buses from South Africa yeah. we don't know if they already paid for them mm -hmm. but uh, until now we are yet to see yeah. there was painting of the road and you see and yes. all those uh, gimmicks mm -hmm. but uh, everything that uh, government comes up with mm -hmm. in the minds of Kenyan citizen yeah. is always shrouded into corruption mm -hmm. even the ongoing with my number yeah. there's a suspicion that maybe some people just want to, 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 to swindle some money yeah. so this thing was a, a good idea but mm -hmm. my suggestion would have been maybe government to seek funding from maybe World Bank mm -hmm. then construct set get a place construct housing which are uh, cost you know cost friendly mm -hmm. then allow those who are interested to move to such kind of houses. You can't tell people to pay after? you can't tell people to pay for something they are not sure of. Okay. And we are seeing a lot of money being swindled even in mm. NHIF, yeah. NSSF, you know, such kind of um, yeah. uh, government programs. Mm. So it's a big challenge that um, the government always uh, approaches this issue from the bottom up approach <laughs> instead of looking at the, you know, okay. starting from the needs. The and needs. there are so many things that Kenyans want. Mm. This is I think it's not a priority to many Kenyans. Right now. Yeah. And of course, there's a common denominator, even with the BRT that you have mentioned, the people with disability are always left out or overlooked. Sure. Because even with the buses, I don't think much consideration.
input um, into that when it comes to people living with disability how will they access said buses are the people who going are these houses going to be uh, accommodating people or are they will be going to benefit from the housing levy if it is implemented now Bona governor when you see this I'd like to know where you stand on it first of all what we are doing is not new mm -hmm. we are doing things wrongly yeah let's go back to the grassroots in the yeah. early when we got independence mm -hmm. the first leadership of this land came up with the national housing corporation yeah who killed it <laughs> what was supposed to be doing was as soon as a new employee comes to work the first thing to do you are given a house yes and then your salary is it's deducted deducted to pay for that house for right. five years ten years whatever mm -hmm. it is you physically are moved to a house mm -hmm. new as you are from yes. college so that you can see what you're actually yes. paying for and that's what's happening all over the world yeah. but this game this one <laughs> this one is a very dangerous one yeah and we should stop this type of business where we are creating new things yeah. which we and we already have why do you have an N N N H C now? Yes, yes, it is still existing. It has even some MD mm -hmm. and some some uh, directors. Right. To me, <laughs> this should actually not be an issue. Mm -hmm. uh, we should actually scrap it immediately. Yes, and we should not impose on people like me or uh, maybe even you, mm -hmm. who already knows where you are staying. Mm -hmm. Let's begin as follows. Yes, new employees. Mm -hmm. I show them the new building you are built. Yes. And we can take a loan, by the way. Mm -hmm. People like going to China mm -hmm. to take big loans for the road. Yes. For Ingila <laughs> Barbara Yamel. Yeah, trail. Yes, SGR. SGR. Mm -hmm. We are taking five hundred billion. Mm -hmm. If it can be found like that, mm -hmm. quickly do it and because well, we now have uh, uh, staff in the counties, yes. they range from one thousand to ten thousand depending on the size of the county, employees. Mm -hmm do this housing yeah. as a national government go and do it in all the 47 counties wherever then people then people now start deducting from there yeah why do you want to give to me when mm -hmm. i mean uh, you have a, i mean maybe i've already bought a house mm -hmm. why do you want to deduct mine yes. so to me we should start and mm -hmm. we should not be in a hurry mm -hmm. so that we are equal to who start small yeah. where we think our policy should begin mm -hmm. and then we move on right yes. okay that winds up our segment of press review and um we're going to take a short break and when we come back we'll have more for you here on morning express do not go